Uh, Bernd, I'm just going to hand over directly to you. We can see you and we can hear you. So please do go ahead and give us your presentation. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Rob, for your welcome. What I want to show you today is our development uh, in uh, a new kind of concrete. Um, this is what we call at the moment desert sand concrete. It is a complete new definition of, of concrete. About three years ago, we, we heard about the first time of a global sand problem. And we saw how rivers and beaches are destroyed by legal or illegal sand mining. Massive sand amounts are shipped around the world today. So here, I, uh, I give you a short overview of magazines and articles where uh, sand mafias, what they call sand mafia, which is more or less illegal uh, sand mining, but it is all over the world. Especially what I can say is, it is a, um, a major problem in, in Asia and, and India. So sand, actual, the sand situation for the building industry and the con construction industry of today is that uh, a sand is used majorly as uh, uh, river sand, as beach sand uh, and gravel at the moment for the construction industry. To give an idea about the consumption of uh, projects or construction, a standard house in Europe needs about 200 tons of sand. A motorway per kilometer needs 30,000 tons of sand and the nuclear power plant 12 million tons. It's a huge amount. In the last 30 years, the, the demand of sand is, is really increasing by 360% and the demand will continue as, as increase. What we can see is that we have more or less three major mining areas. The, the beach sand mining, we will find in some places in uh, at the in some countries. Uh, open pit mining is here in Europe very common, and then we have also, and that is the awfuls, is the uh, the river sand mining, which destroy majorly uh, the nature. As I said, sand is is imported the international sand market. Sand is imported today mainly to the Arab and the Asian countries. I give you here a, a small market comparison. Sales of drugs worldwide. It is an, an, an old figure, but I, I think it is much higher now. It is 75 billion euros. And sales of that what the sand mafia or the illegal sand mining produce is 65 billion euros. So the, the illegal market is huge, absolutely huge. What we see is that the sand stock of today for the construction uh, is the desert. It is the, the stock for the industry of tomorrow. It, it is, for us, it is no doubt the, the sand, desert sand will be the construction sand or construction aggregate for the future. On this slide, you can see all the, the bright areas on our global is is desert. So you find on, on every continent, you, you will find desert areas. Of course, the, the, uh, you see it in Africa, in, uh, in the Arabs, in, in India, in Russia, in China, also in, in the US and in South America, Australia, of course. In, so you, you have here 
a lot of sand, which broke from millions. To give you an idea about uh, uh, desert sand and what is the amount, I show you here um, a short numbers. It is uh, the Sahara alone has 8,700,000 square meter of area of sand. And uh, this is only the, the largest sand areas. There's much, much more in, in the world. For comparison, when you see uh, a, the Sahara and uh, when you see what is the complete area of the United States, United, United States have an area of 9,800,000 square meter. It is more or less a little bit larger than the Sahara. So it is huge. To give you also an idea about how many tons of sand available, the Saudi Arab desert, which called Rab El Khali, it's the largest pure sand desert in the world. The size is 700,000 square kilometer. When we think that the average height of a dune is 10 meter, then we have in only in this area, we have 10 times 10 by 12 tons of desert sand, which is a 10 with 12 zeros. It is unbelievable. So when the Saudis use the same amount of sand for the next years, then in a moment for the next year and with the desert sand, they have sand for directly near to them, no shipping, nothing. So it is it is a, a huge, a huge uh, area. Well, the most of, of, of uh, concrete people and cement people, they, they have, in, in our opinion, a tunnel view. They, the arguments are very, very old. There's first, uh, uh, the grain is round and the grain is fine. The grain is dust. Uh, there is a soil content and there's many other uh, arguments uh, in that. Also that you cannot create uh, acceptable compressive strengths according to a normal concrete with a normal concrete recipe and mixing recipe. Well, I must say, the only what I can accept is that uh, there is no compressive strength according to the normal concrete mixing recipes. This is true. All the other arguments, I must say, it is a tunnel view and uh, it is not reality, not today. We, we can make with the desert sand a very, very fine concrete. We start we were, three years ago, we were absolutely sure that we can make a cementitious binder that could be mixed with desert sand to form a fine concrete. So three years ago, we started in our concrete lab. We used our know-how in the nanoparticle technology to try to develop a desert sand binder. We start uh, with sands from the Saudi desert, from Namibia, and from the Moyava de desert in the US. We could not see in, in our use any big difference to these desert sands in grain size, in gain, grain distribution. It was more or less for us the same. The target we we give ourselves was very low for for uh, for people who normally have targets up to 300 megapascal compressive strengths. So we said our target should be um, a, a binder which we should develop, which is uh, stable concrete where I can mix a castable concrete out of it, and it should 
maximum have 30 to 35 megapascal. That would be for us a success uh, uh, when we can do that. So on, on the picture below, you see a bucket with, with our binder. And on the other side, you, you, you will see the desert sand material. What surprised us absolutely after one year laboratory work was that we reach we with with our recipes with our binder recipes reach easily easily 50 megapascal compressive things and for some recipes we can uh, get a, a compressive strength up to 120 megapascal so it 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 was a absolutely surprise for us we we let test the material uh, uh, from international test institutes. And uh, what they tell us uh, that they see on, on the test results that there is, um, that we can improve. Yes, there is air, there's room to improve. So we, we are thinking that when we do more research, we can go with a higher compressive strength work at the moment for us, it is not necessary. Desert sand concrete consists only, and I must say it really loud, it is only desert sand, not sieved, not cleaned, not grinded, nature desert sand with our desert sand binder and water. This is the three ingredients where, we, where you mix it and you get a, a fine concrete. The difference in, in strengths, which uh, here shown by 50 to 100 megapascal, is based on the difference of binders mixture. So that is uh, uh, the explanation for that. On this slide, you can see where we are normally, our UHPC concrete. This is the, the normal area and you see below the gray area is a standard concrete what you can best buy or or mix so the the, the desert sand concrete and that is also again a surprise is um, he can be the material in in the middle between the high class uhpc concrete and the standard concrete so with desert sand concrete we can cover everything what concrete can do. This is uh, a clear statement. And uh, um, that is for us, it was also a surprise, but it is the desert sand uh, concrete is much better than we in the beginning expect. The mixer for mixing the, the binder or the concrete are standard mixers. So it is uh, like the picture on the left side on the top, a leap hair pan pot mixer or um, a horizontal mixer or a, a standard pan pot mixer where, where you use uh, at the side for mixing small amounts of desert sand concrete. But also you, you can mix it in, in, a, in a ready mix plant. It is absolutely no problem. It is always binder plus uh, uh, sand and water like like concrete simple and easy here i i show you what what this is worth doing during by tests so from the left there's a nature desert sand we put it in a pan pot mixer and then add our binder to it and then water and because we are we are born in 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 the field of UHPC, we are not using a lot of water. So we water the desert sand binder and the desert sand is mixed by two to three minutes dry. Then we we add uh, the water, and then you mix around seven to eight minutes with water. And then you have a very fine, high quality desert sand concrete castable and pumpable and soon also sprayable. 
So you, you can use it for every concrete application you want. The local production of uh, desert sand, uh, desert, uh, desert sand binder is not a problem. In Germany, we produce around 4,000 tons a month. This is what, what we can do uh, produce at the moment. But uh, we also are prepared to show our customers that they can do can mix the desert sand binder and the desert sand concrete local in their countries. It is absolutely no problem. Uh, the system we have is very effective and it is easily um, to install. But also the most of the cement plants which we talk with can produce desert sand binder. This is this is with with their um, with their machinery. It is absolutely no problem, and the same is a ready mix plant, uh, because we we do nothing else as concrete. So a ready mix plant can also mix desert sand concrete. So there is no argue uh, why this concrete cannot be used. The cement plants more or less produce the basic cement for the desert sand binder. And of course, they can mix all the rest to the recipe. So it is not a problem for them. They can pack it over the packing machine as big bag or uh, paper bags. They can put it in a concrete uh, silo trucks. It is absolutely no problem. You can handle it as a normal cement. And uh, a ready mix plant, you can put it in, 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 a, in a mixing truck. That is also not a problem. The application we, we see is more or less all the standard applications that um, concrete has, standard concrete has. So you can use it for road construction without no problem with all kinds of architecture construction. Port construction, airport construction, corrosion protection. Corrosion protection in, in, in that way that uh, the desert sand concrete is extremely dense and has more or less no porous. So in, in a very thin lining, it is absolutely waterproof. You can make facades. You can make facades and constructions in the same way as you, as you do it with UHPC. So you can make very fine structures. Industrial construction, no problem. Floating construction, no problem. Because also desert sand concrete is seawater resistant. Like UHPC. Bridge construction. You, you can do, you can make bridge repairs, you can do all that. What is the benefit of, of using UHPC desert concrete? Well, it is that you not destroy, destroy nature. Desert sand is there. Desert sand is there for the rest, I will say, 200, 300,000 years. It is easily to I will not say mining. You you can go with a truck in the desert and pick it up, and that's it. So there is no shipping. There is nothing like that. It is simply and easy. It is when you mix it to a concrete, it has a very good pumpability. At the moment, we we have all our desert sand concrete or binder qualities have a fast strength development. But we can, on, when customers want, we can change this to a slower strength development. As I said, it is absolutely uh, uh, waterproof, so it is also extremely corrosion resistant. As you see in the beginning, the high compressive strength and bend, uh, bending tensile strength. So we are comparing to the best of the standard concrete. 
Well, it's easy to pro processing as, as normal concrete, standard concrete. The availability is more or less everywhere in, in, in the world. Um, here, I, I also want to say that the desert sand at the moment um, has no value. It is, uh, well, nobody had a price for desert sand. So I, I, I will not say that desert sand is for free. But uh, when I see the, the cost for sand in, in, in Asia, then I must say it's nearly for free. So here, maybe it's, it is interesting. Um, a desert sand has the same as UHBC, extremely high adhesion to almost every metallic and mineral material. So uh, whatever you put in, in, uh, in desert sand concrete, it will stick there, I will not say forever, but for a long time, and you need a lot of energy to pull it out. Absolutely seawater resistant. And if the character of a UHPC, what we see here, it is absolutely, you can put it uh, in, in seawater and you don't need any additive to do it. It is an automatically character of desert sand concrete. And of course, it, is, it has no to a extremely low pore volume. And uh, so it, it is high dense. Uh, that's the reason why it is seawater resistant and uh, corrosion resistant. The environment of protection and sustainability. Well, that is one of the, the biggest advantage of desert sand concrete. It has a very low content of, of concrete. Uh, that makes it really interesting. Uh, so we reduce energy, we use, uh, reduce water for the production of the concrete. We completely avoid uh, the, the shipping and uh, uh, the destroying of the nature. Uh, we don't need any more uh, river sand and beach sand or sand uh, from uh, below water level. Um, so drastically uh, elimination of the shipments. Hundreds, thousands of ships are going around the world with sand, what is ridiculous. And it, it costs a lot and uh, CO2, it's in, in these days, um, something what everybody in, in, is interesting in. So with the, with the desert sand, we can reduce drastically the CO2. Uh, the same is with desert sand and uh, um, in the construction industry, it, it shows that we have no more big pieces of gravel. So you can put all the reinforcement bars nearer together. That means your, all your construction will be thinner and that means less material in the construction which is also with, uh, again, a reduction of CO2. Well, sand prices. When, when the people use uh, desert sand as a construction sand, then we talk about a complete new world of sand prices. That is, that is definitely so. In the future, we, we will use, and that is where we at the moment working, as we want to use uh, the desert sand, and recycled material as aggregates and reinforcement uh, in, in our binders to make a drastically reduction of CO2. Um, aggregates and reinforcement could be also uh, nature material. So, and, and of course, recycling material. So that is where, where we, we see our, our big advantage is something what we can do now. So that is all what I can tell you and the planning to desert sand concrete. So uh, we will do this in the end of the year. So I can say you can use desert sand concrete. There is a desert sand concrete and desert is a nice, fantastic 
aggregate. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Bernd, for a very, very interesting and passionate uh, presentation. You're obviously a very strong believer in the potential for this uh, approach to making uh, concrete